Hey guys, it is that time of year again. So I've been doing a series every six months or so now where I review my Amazon purchases from basically the year prior. So it's getting to be the end of 2023, believe it or not. And so we are going to look at my Amazon purchases from the second half of 2022 and get my reviews and feedback and see if I'm still liking them. So I'm looking at the items down here on my computer and you'll probably be looking at them up here on screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so we already did the first half of 2022 that took us up to about June. So now we're starting in July. And the first item we have is this Brita water bottle with filter, 26 ounce premium filtered water bottle. So this is a beautiful clear turquoise bottle that I got because a friend of mine has one that she takes everywhere. We had just gotten back from going to an event together where she had this bottle and I was like that's such a good idea to have the filtered bottle and then you don't have to worry about where are you filling your water up from. So I got this turquoise one and I did not like it because it, there's no insulation. It's just a thin layer of plastic. So uh, I don't think it'll come up in this six month period, but spoiler alert for next year sometime, I did end up getting the metal version of this bottle that does keep things cool. Um, but in general, I do like this bottle. Um, I still do use the plastic one sometimes, and I think that it's a really smart idea having the filter built into the bottle. Uh, next item is the Eco Sophie Sandproof Beach Blanket. And I got this because we've been going to a lot of outdoor concerts and different things, and I am irresistible to bugs. And so when you're sitting just out on the grass and stuff, even if you're in a chair, your feet are on the ground and the bugs will just climb up and eat my feet. So I figured have this little layer of a thin blanket on the ground and that will give some extra protection. And it does, it works, it's perfect. We still use it. Um, any kind of outdoor event that we go to, again, even if we're sitting up in folding chairs, I'll make like a little spot for our feet with the blanket. And it's just like a really thin kind of like nylon like ripstop sort of material so it folds up into this little small pouch you can see in the screenshot I think there's a hand holding it um, it does come with like four little plastic stakes that go in the corners so if you're on uh, like a grass or you know some kind of surface like that you can put the stakes in to hold it down if you want if you are on a sandy surface or maybe a rocky surface um, all the four corners are also pockets so you could fill them with like sand or stones to hold the corners down So it's really smart and it comes in its own little bag and it's just small and it clips onto your purse and you don't even notice it It's great. So I really like that next item is the henna jaw pill organizer pouches and basically it's a little binder of little pockets that will hold your pills so i've been trying a bunch of different um pill organizers and things to travel with pills and the problem is i have a few very large pills and I take pills a couple times a day. So the containers that I've been using were from the Dollar Tree and they work great, but they just like crack and crumble. So this is another one actually after I got back from that event last June, uh, I was like, I need to replace my pill situation. So I got these pockets and actually I really like it because you can just take as many pockets as you need if you're not going, I'm not sure how many it comes with actually. Um, I think it is more than seven. It might be more than like a week's worth, but you can take Take as many pockets as you need. Um, you can also take a pocket out. So actually a lot of times I'll just take one little plastic pocket that has like if I need a couple things for the day I'll just take one pocket out with me and not bring a whole binder. Um, I will say when we just took our big vacation uh, back in October to Charleston um, we were gone for eight days total and that was like too many pills for the binder. Um, they're so thick, the binder would not close. I ended up having to keep some pills in a separate bag and I had to like rubber band it shut until I had taken a few days worth and I could snap it back shut. But in general, and like for a normal person with a normal amount of normal sized pills, I think it's a really good product. Now the next one is something else that I was trying for my pills. That's the Daily Pill Organizer 8 Compartment Portable Pill Case. A lot of people recommend this one and I actually um, have got another free one. So I have like a couple of these now. I am just not a huge fan because there's like two large compartments and then there's 
six small compartments and then the whole thing kind of snaps shut together. It's sort of like a poly pocket of pills. Um, it's nice in theory, but it's something where like if you're only going for one day, you don't need you know whatever eight compartments worth of pills also they're not you know each one a uh equal sized compartment so i think it's kind of better for like if you just want to have certain things with you just in case and keep them organized and separated um you can just sort of stock the case and have whatever you want with you i wouldn't really use it as like a days of the week pill organizer the jag women's maddie mid-rise shorts um, I actually have two pairs of these. One um, was this denim pair and then one was like a gray kind of gray khaki pair. Um, they're nice. They have real pockets. Um, I believe they have back pockets. I'm not sure if they have a real back pocket or just a a faux pocket. Um, they just fit kind of weird, so they're not my favorite. I pretty much only wear the denim ones because they're the only denim shorts that I have. Um, but they just, they're not like the most flattering shorts in my opinion, but they are fine. And basically all my shorts now are like the pull on kind of elastic waist shorts. So, um, if that's what you're looking for, give them a try. Uh, next are the Grace Karen, uh, like stretchy metal belts. So I think I have like three or four of these now. Um, I only have the one pictured here, um, but I, I think I do have another set of a couple different ones. So I got all these little skinny silver belts. Um, they have different like leaf designs or different kinds of clasps in the front. They just kind of hook together in the front. And I got them to go with um, some plain dresses like the Ever by X dress. Um, that looks really good with a little metal belt. Um, I had gotten this other kind of plain black sort of sheath dress that I was wearing to an event. And I wanted to add a belt to that. So these are great for that. So I really like that they're just kind of sleek. They're stretchy so they're like very forgiving um if you're not sure what size you are i will say um i'm not sure if this was them but i ended up getting like a little bit larger size than probably what i needed and so i did go back and repurchase the next size smaller but um i i do really like these belts okay the sherpa original deluxe airline approved pet carrier in medium so i think this must have been around the time of um, Amazon Prime Day last summer. So uh, this was something that I had actually had on my shopping list for a while. I had one uh, like fabric cat carrier like this that actually I had inherited from someone else. And I really liked it. And at that time we had four cats. So I figured maybe just get a second one because usually we don't take them out, uh, you know, more than two at a time for vet appointments and stuff. So now I have two of them and um, I think that's a good number. I really do like those soft sided ones rather than the big hard plastic cases. Uh, although I will say this was the medium size and I believe in the listing it did say like that was a size recommended for cats. Only my very smallest cat really like comfortably will fit in this one. So. Um, I'm not sure I'll have to take a look at if it comes in larger sizes, but like maybe size up if you got a big chonker cat like we do. Next item is also definitely something from Prime Day. That is the three inch gel memory foam mattress topper. So this is the queen sized one. And I think this is also something that I had had on my wish list for a while maybe and was just watching for if it went on sale for Prime Day. So the neat thing about this one is it has these elastic straps kind of diagonal across each corner that sort of hold it down on the four corners of your bed, which is nice. It doesn't really scoot around too much although I will say we've been using it now for basically a year and a half and it has sort of smushed <laughs> down in one direction but our old one was also smushed over to one side just kind of permanently so I think this is better than that it's definitely very comfortable if you don't have a gel or foam mattress topper of some sort I highly recommend it for your bed okay next one is a disappointing one and that is the Feiyu Pocket 2 handheld action camera. So it's a gimbal camera. Um, I was looking for something that was like a little more stabilized for vlogs and things where I'm walking around because when I use my regular Canon vlogging camera that I usually use, um, when you're in motion, it really 
bounces around a lot and I know that can be difficult to watch you know you can stabilize it in your editing software but that's not always great so I was really looking for something that would be a little smoother to use while in motion so I went with this one because it was like such a good price and I had actually heard like some good things about it I know there's some other ones where you have to like install proprietary software um, some other ones that I was looking at I didn't want that I just wanted something where you know you can record on a memory card and put that memory card in your computer Computer and use the footage so video wise picture wise it's great it really works very well it's very smooth it's easy to use it has this little like built-in handle thing with the controls and the screen um, so that's great audio is horrendous so um, I don't think I didn't include them in this list that I'm sharing today but I ended up trying a few different like external microphones to go with this and just nothing helped so if you're recording audio at all I cannot recommend this one um, I did use it for one vlog I'll try to put a link up uh, so you can see what I'm talking about but um, for video if you just want to record like some action video um, it's really a very nice camera at a great price point price point. Next item was something else for the cats and that is the Fokikos cat bed cardboard scratching pad scratcher pet for indoor beds cats furniture house lounge kitty big small dogs. I wouldn't give it to a dog. Uh, so basically we found that our kitten who is now almost three years old uh, she loves cardboard. That's her favorite thing. She loves playing with like if a little scrap falls off of a box or something we ended up getting the little cardboard scratchers which I'd never had for any cats previously. She loves cardboard and so I was like oh I know that they make cardboard beds. Let's get our cardboard bed. She loved this thing. Um, we called it her bowl or her bucket and she would just roll up and curl up in it a little circle and she loved this cardboard thing it did eventually get real mushed down it's just cardboard it's just corrugated cardboard so um in a little bit we'll get to the thing that we replaced it with but yeah she loved her little cardboard bed okay the gimme hair bands were something that I had seen recommended a lot and um, I've been looking for a hairband that just wouldn't pull and tug on my hair as much so I ended up getting this set that had like what like four or five maybe different shades from black to different shades of beige and brown they're fabulous definitely do highly recommend them they're like a little overpriced for hair elastics but um they do work great i have since ordered um another set like these just in all blonde color and then i also had accidentally gotten a set of like bigger thicker bands so there's like a number of different ones this set says they are for fine hair and i think that's what my other set that i'm using right now is also for they're like a little bit thinner of a band um but the thicker ones i think said they were for like any type of hair and they were maybe not so great for my fine hair so um i don't know pay attention to what you're ordering because um it's it's easy to mix up and get a different type maybe than what you were expecting next item is also something that i was influenced to buy um, by another youtuber that is the eyes fix electric spin scrubber so this was advertised as something that you could use to scrub your like shower and different like hard surfaces in your bathroom and things and I have a really difficult to clean shower so I was like oh great this is gonna be perfect it has all these different little like head brush attachments and I tried it out I used sort of a, a pointy brush to try to get into the corners of the grout and it didn't do anything so I don't know um I mean some people swear by it I am not a humongous fan uh maybe it's user error I don't know but I wasn't like super impressed with that one okay the um shoe stretcher set uh set of five I'm not sure if these have been in one of these videos before because I have many of them now but these are the plastic shoe forms that I use in my Rothy's shoes and they are what's often recommended by the other Rothy's people so they're kind of adjustable they're super super simple they're very basic shoe forms shoe stretchers so they basically are just a pointed toe and then a straight stick and a little piece that bumps up against the heel so you can just adjust the length of how 
long the shoe is and that's basically it there's nothing about width or height or anything um but they're very easy to use and pop in and out so yeah i have a bunch of them i keep them in all my rothies and i think they're great there's so many cat items in this six month period so the next one is the tomex cute cat water fountain uh stainless steel pet fountain so we have another cat fountain it's plastic and the only reason why i hadn't replaced it was because it's the only one i really found where the water kind of pours out like it would come out of a faucet which is the way that my cats like it um so this one has sort of like a mini faucet but really you or not you the cats drink from it um from like this shallow kind of reservoir on top so it's a big deep bowl it's very deep uh it basically they'd like never empty it um but big deep bowl and then there's just like this little tiny trickle of water and they just drink from the surface of it so it's very nice it is stainless so it stays like relatively cleaner and it has a little um filter in it um and yeah it's just i mean it holds so much and the cats love it it runs continuously it's very quiet especially compared to our bigger plastic one and um so now we actually have two going the plastic one is upstairs and the stainless one is downstairs they definitely both get used and the cats really enjoy it all of them drink from it okay so the next couple items kind of go together so we have the linen spa two inch memory foam mattress topper gel mattress topper the um, linen spa mattress topper cover which is not included with the topper it's a separate thing you have to buy and a twin sheet set of breathable and cooling sheets so what happened was um this was yeah last september we both got sick um while one of us was sick and the other one was not yet sick I ended up sleeping in here in the guest bedroom and during that time I realized this bed was so uncomfortable. I apologized to any guests who had ever stayed at our house uh, prior to last year and immediately ordered a gel topper for this bed and nice new fresh sheets. Not like the sheets were gross but like they were kind of holy. <laughs> so I got all new bedding for this bed and again apologies to any previous guests and you will be very comfortable when you come stay here the next time. Uh, okay this next item I have two of. This is the Acelet Women's Casual Drawstring Elastic Comfy Trousers with Pockets. Uh, so I have a black pair of course and then I have the green pair pictured here. Um, I'm not sure why. I think in the photo it looked like they were kind of more of a teal color which is more my color but they really are more of like an army green. I actually ended up wearing the army green ones more than the black linen pants that I had. Um, but I was looking for some linen pants kind of as we transition from summer to fall uh, and these were very nice. They have a, a drawstring waist with just a little thin drawstring. It's mostly like a wide um, elastic band. They do have usable uh, front pockets and um, they're just a wide open leg at the bottom. So very nice and I definitely wear them a ton during those transitional seasons. Now this next item you will have already seen if you watch my planner videos. So this is the um, A5 six ring binder with a transparent cover. Um, so I use this with my personal planner this year. Um, this year instead of getting a ring bound planner, like a spiral bound planner, I got just the pages that you can put into your own six ring binder. So I just got this very inexpensive clear cover because um, the, it, the planner does come with like cover like a hard heavier stock cover pages front and back cover and I was like why uh, you know make a beautiful cover if you're not going to see it so I put it inside this clear binder um, it does come with the elastic uh, strap to hold it shut and I've been carrying it around and hauling it back and forth to the office um, and using it at home and using it at work uh, for you know a, a year now almost a full year and it has held up great I pop it open you know every day sometimes multiple times a day so uh, it works great and I'm looking forward to filling it with my 2024 planner pages next year so stay tuned for a planner video 
This is a really boring one. I don't usually include the boring stuff in these videos, but uh, I guess I included this one. This is the Shatterproof Magnetic Air Deflector for floor registers and vent covers. So uh, I guess, yeah, it was just last year. Um, we ended up having some ducts moved in our house and it left us with a um, vent on the floor, which um, all of our other ones are up in the walls. So. Um, I just figured I should put a little cover over it, uh, number one, to kind of redirect the air out into the room, and number two, maybe to protect it. I'm very nervous about the floor vents with, like, stuff potentially falling into them. So, um, got this little cover, and I don't know, no complaints, I guess, from me. Uh, so this, I'm only sorry that I waited so long to get this or something like it. This is the Smart Take air fryer, silicone pot, easy cleaning air fryer of an accessory. So basically you can get liners for your air fryer pot basket. Um, you can get like paper, like parchment paper ones. Um, but I was like, surely there is a reusable kind of liner for these. And yes, there is. So this is um, a big square one. I have a big square basket and I just keep it in there always. Like, you know, you know, I wash it after I use it, but then I just keep it in there. And it's so nice. It's so much easier than cleaning the whole basket every time. I don't know, maybe some other air fryers are different, but mine is like this giant basket with multiple parts you have to take out. If it gets dirty, you have to like clean all these different parts and then it takes a long time to, they're sitting out drying, it's a pain. So the silicone thing is so much easier to clean and you know, it doesn't take up as much space. It's easier to handle you know just taking out the little silicone liner rather than like pulling apart this whole basket um, it also came with these little silicone like mitt things which I've never used I'm not even sure where they are but definitely worth it for the basket um, and like liner cover now here's the other cat bed item that I had mentioned so this is the Meowixen refillable cat scratcher cardboard and bed for cat scratching lounge scratching pad base. So I picked this one because it is a plastic base, round base, that has a cardboard, like corrugated cardboard insert. It's basically just a spiral of a thin strip of corrugated cardboard to make kind of a flattish circle. And so my thinking was, you know, it won't get as messed up because we can replace that inner cardboard circle and the actual bed part, you know, remains. And so it's kind of less wasteful than like throwing out an entire cardboard bed like the previous bed. Well, number one, I don't know, maybe it's like more durable, but it just, I mean, we've been using this for over a year now and haven't had to replace the cardboard part of it yet. Maybe we're like just getting there, but it really doesn't get as messed up as the fully cardboard one. Number two, it's so small and even our little tiny kitten girl who loves getting in her little cardboard bed, she's like hanging over the sides and scrunching herself in there. She loves cardboard so much, but she's like so uncomfortably squished looking. So I don't know, she loves it and it's still her favorite little bed, but um, I, if I were starting over, maybe I would get another one of the fully cardboard ones again, but this does seem like the better long-term option just as far as like being able to replace the insert without replacing the entire bed. So I don't know, if you have like a really small cat, maybe a better idea. And this is something that goes with my planner. This is the Performor two pack of Snap-in eight inch bookmark rulers. So one thing that I realized was missing when I switched to the, um, the binder personal planner is the spiral bound ones came with a little plastic bookmark that you could use um, or yeah, with plastic ruler that you could use as a bookmark and it clipped into the spiral binding. Um, obviously can't reuse that with the ring binders because the holes are different. So I ended up getting this set. I think I, I just used the black one. Um, so there's also a clear one. Uh, so, you know, use whichever one uh, matches your decor, um, but it works great. It just, it, you know, as a bookmark and um, it just pops in and out. You don't have to clip the rings open and shut every time you just kind of pull it out and reinsert it on the next page and I assume it also works as a ruler haven't had to use it for that purpose yet okay here's another disappointing one that I was really heavily influenced by other youtubers to try this is the pink stuff it's a cleaning paste I have used other cleaning pastes before and I'm always looking for something to help scrub the top of my glass top stove so 
again saw people raving about it figured I'd give it a try I don't think it's any better or different than any other cleaning paste I've used um, it's pink <laughs> but I don't know like what's different or special about it I'm sorry if you're a pink stuff fan uh, tell me in the comments what you use it for or what you recommend I try it on because I I mean it's fine but like it didn't really seem any more amazing than any other cleaning product or paste that I've tried before okay these are crazy um, this is something else I'm sure that I saw it in a in someone's YouTube video um, but I get super super motion sick and these are the Hyon anti-motion sickness glasses. So, okay, they look nuts. I will explain how they work. Basically, these glasses have a frame around each of your eyes, and then they also have two more frames on the sides of your eyes. And all four of these frames are halfway filled with a blue liquid. So what's supposed to happen, how they're supposed to work, is your motion sickness is caused by the fluids of your inner ear not matching up with what your eyes are seeing. Like if you're in a vehicle that's straight and flat, but your inner ear fluids are sloshing around, that's supposedly what causes your motion sickness. So if you have this liquid in all, you know, your front vision and your peripheral vision that matches what your ear fluids are doing, supposedly, that's supposed to help um, alleviate your motion sickness. I don't know how this works exactly because like if you're in a car, the fluid's going to be staying level. Like you're not flipping around upside down. So I don't really know how that works. And honestly, I haven't had a chance to try them for real. I've taken them on trips and different things, but also there are always times where like I can't afford to get motion sick if they don't work. So I'm also still taking like actual motion sickness medication. So I don't know. I need to like dedicate myself to the science someday and really try them out for real. But I also did just want to put up this crazy photo of a whole family wearing these things so you can see how nuts you look wearing them which is kind of another reason why I haven't tried them out in public yet um but also like this is a situation where you would never be wearing those glasses they're just standing around why would you use the motion sickness glasses you use them when you're in motion so I don't know if you have used these and you have any results please do share because like I said, I've been too nervous to really like legitimately try them out unaided by other stuff. So uh, it, let me know if you want me to like try them for real for science or if you have feedback, I would love to hear your experience with these things. Okay, this next one I have also kind of mixed feelings about. Um, if you have been following some of my like Amazon purchases and stuff for a while, you know that I have uh, like bathroom sink drama. Uh, so basically I don't have a drain plug in my bathroom sink for various reasons. I've been following this sink shroom product. Actually, they have another one called the tub shroom that goes in your bathtub. It's like a little bit larger and I've been following that. Um, and then I saw that they had a sink version of it and I was like, oh, well, let me try that for the bathroom sink. So basically it's, um, like a rubber cylinder that goes down into the drain pipe a little bit. And then it just has like a chrome cap. So from the top, it looks like just a regular drain plug in your sink, but the little rubber part or silicone or whatever it is that goes down into the drain, it catches hair and stuff. So you can just pop the whole thing out and scrape off the hair and it keeps hair and gunk from getting down your drain, which sounds great in theory. And it worked great for a little while, but over time, the crud and stuff just builds up in that rubber tube. And I, I regularly take it out and regularly clean it out. And even I've like soaked it in stuff to clean it and wipe it out. And it just gets gross. It then eventually the water drains really slowly because it's trying to get through this gunky thing. So it has now been uh, almost a year since I've been using it. And I am waiting for something to be delivered soon that will be replacing it hopefully so it's nice and maybe if it's like for a sink that you don't use that often it might be good or if you don't mind replacing the sink shroom regularly i mean it works 
it worked great when I first got it, but it's like over time as the stuff builds up, it just gets disgusting. I'm not even, I wouldn't even show it to you because it's so gross. Um, but again, something that's like great in theory and then in practice and long term, maybe not so hot. Okay, here's something else that I'm pretty sure I was influenced to buy by another YouTuber. I'm not, I, I do use like face masks and stuff, but I'm not like a big eye mask person. These are the 24 karat gold eye mask. Um, I'm not seeing like a brand name on these, but basically they're kind of like a thin, I don't even know what sort of material I'd say they're made out of. They're like a floppy, there's, feel sort of like if you put paint on like a plastic sheet and waited for it to dry and then peeled it off, they're sort of like that material. And they're just like liquidy and they are gold and you just put them under your eyes. Uh, they're sort of a... I don't know, kidney bean sort of shape that fits under your eyes and I just always forget to use them so my ideal use for these would be in the morning when you're getting ready if you put them on like before you do your makeup maybe while you're getting ready but uh it is difficult to keep them on because they're not like sticky like super sticky so they could potentially fall off if you're still moving around you need like a restful morning moment where you can put those on for 10-15 minutes and then continue getting ready. Uh, that said, I don't know if the whatever liquid in them is the active ingredient or if it's the gold <laughs> that's involved, um, but my thought is it's just because they're kind of cold. Um, even throughout the summer I just keep them out you know, sitting out in the bathroom and they are cold when you put them on your face. They'd be even colder if you like stored them in the fridge that I know some people do with masks and skincare and stuff. But I think it's just the coldness, you know, like that kind of reduces the puffiness of your eyes. So I personally feel like I have noticed a difference when I've used them, but one time I was like, oh, let me take a picture, like a before and after picture, cause then we'll really be able to see, cause I can tell the difference, but let me like visually get this and there was no difference in the photos. So I don't know, I feel like they do a little something, but again, you have to like have the right conditions and like the right, you know, use it at the right time of day. And I don't know how long the difference might last, but if you wanna do a little something to pamper yourself, treat yourself, um, they're nice and it certainly doesn't hurt. Here's another cat item. This is actually something that I really am excited about. So this is the Lou Vixa litter box enclosure. It's a it's a cabinet. It's a cabinet that holds your litter box. So we've always had, basically always had a litter box cabinet. Um, and I had a really nice one for many years, eventually replaced it with one that I kind of hated. It was always like very wiggly and wobbly and the back was like cardboard and it didn't really match the rest of our furniture. And eventually, the kitten, who's now almost three, decided that she didn't like that one because apparently she likes to enter the cabinet directly from the front and that one had like a door coming in from the side and she would pee in front of the cabinet, which is not great and was not a habit that I wanted to encourage. So I ended up just taking the doors off of the cabinet so she felt more like she was entering from the front. Um, but that's obviously not a good long-term solution if the point of the cabinet is for the box to be in the cabinet. So I started looking for uh, litter box furniture that had like a kind of a front entry and this is perfect. So it does have a little hole cut out on the side if you prefer that way. But basically if you think of the front like in thirds, two thirds are cabinet doors that swing open and then the one third is an entry that they go straight in and then they would make a left to enter the box compartment. It's in like a separate little space. Um, it's a very, very nice piece of furniture, probably the nicest litter box cabinet that I've used. It's like fully wood and reinforced everywhere. There's no cardboard back panel or anything. Uh, it has little legs to hold it up off the floor. It comes in a bunch of different wood finishes and um, went together really nicely. So my one complaint is that we do have like a rather large litter box. It's a pretty big footprint and it has high sides and it just fits in the cabinet. You kind of have to tilt it diagonal just slightly and kind of 
squish it in through the doors to really get it in there. So if you had like a smaller or like normal sized box, um, it would go in there great. Um, for us, it's just a little bit of a squeeze, but it still fits and is fine. And it's like a very nice piece of litter box furniture. And also the kitten loves it and hasn't had any problem since we had that front entrance. So that was actually my last item purchased in 2022. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I love making these. It's always fun to go back and like reminisce. <laughs> I guess over your past purchases um, but hopefully these are interesting for you uh, if you liked it please do give me a thumbs up so I know to continue making these uh, you probably won't see another one for another six months um, if you hated it also please give me a thumbs up uh, let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these items or if there's something maybe related that you recommend I try sometime and um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye